Some of the words must not translate. That call sign was definitely out of New York. Well, we're gonna have to fly to make it there by Sunday. It'd be expensive. We don't have to sell the car. If you look at this crowd, these guys can turn out to be bigger than Elvis. Yeah, that's kind of fun. You got a thing for these guys, don't you? Oh, well, they're kind of cute. No, like you're cute. Let's make our way over towards security. No, John, this way. What are you doing? Just trust me. after a rock band. Maybe they just want to take away what people feel good about. Well, I don't know enough about them to say that you're wrong. I could go inside. See all those girls over there? They all want to get inside. Let me give it a shot. OK, I'll make some calls. I'll see if maybe I can get a name to that radio call sign. Good, good luck. Hi. Hey. Nothing suspicious, but I did get to see a rehearsal and meet one of the Beatles. Which one? John. John Lennon? I'm sorry. He's, he's my favorite. Hey, Jaw's pretty good. So how'd you do? Oh, well, I called the FCC, and it took some convincing, but I got them to give me the name and the address of the mystery ham operator. You can't get back over here. No, I don't think anybody's home. Looking for something? Christopher Weatherly, my boyfriend and I went to high school with him, and, well, we just got into town and wanted to surprise him. I guess you didn't hear. Hear what? Christopher died last Thursday. They said he walked straight in front of a car, like he didn't even care. Oh, my God, why? Nobody knows. If you ask me, the whole family's screwy. Sorry. Check upstairs. I found something. It was on the refrigerator. It's addressed to Christopher Weatherly. Yeah, and the neighbor said that he died last Thursday. His ham radio is tuned to the same wave band that we picked up in the hotel room in Georgia. This guy was definitely Hive. You need the window open? No, why would I do that? Finally 
find our mystery man and he's dead. We're right back where we started. Maybe not. This logbook has all the names and call signs of everybody Christopher Weatherly talked to on his radio. We can check some of them out, see if anything leads back to the Sullivan Theater. Look at this, John. That's the same name from the flyer. Mr. Burnside has a ham radio, too. This turns out to be a trap. We're both going in. Is this the line for the experiment? Yeah. I hope I'm not too late. They said this is the last day. I came all the way from Albany. It's a three-hour ride, and I hate taking the train. You came all that way just for this experiment? Well, not exactly. I was going to use the money to try and buy someone's ticket for the Beatles show tomorrow night. Some people are actually selling them. I'm staying at my girlfriend Claire's house. Her parents are out of town, and my parents don't know about it. Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't even introduce myself. Marnie Lane, Joe Porter. This is my husband, Russ. Hi. Hi. You must be quite a Beatles fan. The biggest. So you got one of these in the mail, too, huh? Uh-huh. My dad said they get your name on list just to try to sell you stuff. At least I make money on this one. Hello, everyone. Oh. Oh. Well, we do apologize about the delay. But now that your forms are completed, we'll start the testing. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> I almost forgot. <laughs> Anyone who has mailed an invitation in your own name, could you note that on the form, please? Thank you. Here we go. We want to thank you all for coming here today. Now, I cannot guarantee that you will like all of the spots that we show you, but well, at least it is warm in here. It's a joke. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, like, run some commercials for you, and then I'm going to pick your brain afterwards. Huh. Any questions? Yeah, um, what is this being used for? Good, good. Our, our clients spend a lot of dough on marketing, and they want to know what elements in the spots grab your attention, the um, music, the copy. Oh, you mean, like, what will make you want to buy stuff? Right, exactly. Okay, good, let's get rolling here. the most popular food for a snack or meal is delicious, crunchy, chesty potato chips. That's right, Chesty. For instance, at lunchtime, the kids at school line up for plenty of good food topped off with those popular mouth-watering chesty potato chips. Look at those kids go for chesty chips. Johnny and Ruth bought their packages. Jimmy's mother packed a bag in his lunchbox. Gino's kids love nutritious, flavorful chesty potato chips. Whenever chesty is served at meals or in between, appetizing chesty potato chips are topped with kids and grown-ups alike. Keep a large supply always on hand, because chesties are wonderful anytime at work or play for every course of every meal. And remember the other wonderful chesty foods. Chesty Ruffles and Cornies, on sale everywhere. Food is fun to eat. Chesty potato chips. I need to get some air. You wait here. I'm going to go see if she's okay. Okay. 